Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Better Late Than Never episode of Just Another Tuner. I want to talk a little bit about the Mazda. So, a lot of you have been inquiring updates on this car, and uh, mainly the reason why you haven't seen it in a while is because my daily driver, I've been trying to get some stuff things done to it, and also. I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what we're doing as far as moving and jobs and stuff like that. So I am not always home through the week. I'm normally here at my house where this car is located on the weekends. So it depends on what's going on and what I'm doing is if I have the time to get to this car. So, but anyway, I just want to go through a couple of things that I know for a fact that is needs attention before this thing will be roadworthy again. And, um, and for the last couple of videos that you saw of this car, we were working with the radiator and just trying and the thermostat and all that stuff. And, uh, and the last time I was messing with it, we couldn't get it to regulate as far as the temperature is concerned. So the car would idle, it would idle at normal temp. And then when we would drive it, temperature would start going up and I bled it I've tried everything so not real sure what it is I was thinking maybe water pump or possibly the uh, head gasket could be leaking I don't know but um, that that's one of the biggest things it's doing and also it's got a, a major oil leak coming out of the return line and one of the videos I posted a while ago talking about the lines, they're just, they're just cheap. Um, I, I need to go have some good lines made for this car so we can get that ultimately fixed. Uh, <laughs> let's see, what else? There's a couple other things. Um, I know the exhaust still needs to be welded up fully, um, or at least the downpipe. I need to get the new fuel pump put in. And we have a Walbro fuel pump to put in, and I just haven't installed it yet. So, so yeah, there's actually a couple of things that it needs. There's actually a few more things besides just what I mentioned. But I am at a dilemma. Well, not a dilemma. i just been trying to make a decision on what I want to do next. Because this car, I'm going to have to get it to my garage eventually. I'm working on cleaning that out, by the way. Uh... Um, we're going to get to the garage and I'm going to have to tear it apart anyway. So I'm actually, uh, thinking about just going ahead and just pulling the motor out and rebuilding it because that's what I want to ultimately do anyway. So, which is something I've never done before. You know, I've first time I've ever turbo in a car, I've done the clutch and stuff like that, but I've never rebuilt an engine. So that's something I've always wanted to do and something I eventually wanted to do to this car. I just don't want to do it this soon but I'm just thinking well if I'm going to take it all apart anyway then why not go ahead and do it now so so but anyway that is what I'm thinking about doing that is the a quick update on the car and if y'all have any uh, if not all of a sudden my roads getting super busy watch me out here feeling myself in my selfie stick <laughs> what's up guys like this traffic fast so that is what I'm thinking about doing. Um, let me know what you all think in the comments. And because uh, I know a lot of you are here because of this car and I definitely want to bring it back, but I got a lot of things I need to do to my daily driver, which I might have to start filming on some on it right now. So thank you guys for watching and have a good rest of your week.